What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mukal Kabongo, and we got another Athletes Corner for you all. This time we have the Lynn Classical Boys basketball team, the freshman team specifically, who joined us with head coach Roberto Villan Sanchez. We talked to them about their season. They ended up going 16-0 and for their freshman season. Some of the guys, some of the players on there play JV and freshmen. So we talked to the young men and the head coach about the season and all that good stuff. So check this Athletes Corner out. I hope you enjoy it. Hello and welcome to another edition of Athletes Corner. And as you can see, I got the classical freshman team here with me, uh, Coach Berto. Got the guys. Gonna let the guys introduce themselves before we get this start. This thing started. Make sure you say your name and your position. Yo, my name is Jenzel Pimentel, and I play power forward. Dario Center. Ron, power forward. Mateus, point guard. Uh, my name is Jeremy, and I play at the three or five. My name is Brian Adias. Play like three positions. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Elijah. Play small four. My name is Louis Tan. I play point guard. My name is Darren. I play shooting guard. My name is Jadiel, and I play three. All right, fellas, coach, 16 and old freshman go. season. Oh. One of your incentives was if they got if they went 16 and all, they'd come here for the win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. <clears throat> um, as the season was unfolding, I was giving the guys some promises, um, and this was one. Yeah, this yeah. was the very last one, so um, I'm going to put this on. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, yeah, hey, yeah. the undefeated is undefeated. I don't, Let's go. No matter man. what it is. I, what was it about this group that you guys were able to, uh, to accomplish, accomplish that feat? Um, we had, for the first time in my career here, we actually had a bench, so um, I feel like that's what put us over the hump, and we were able to get um, big wins. Yeah. Because uh, we did face challenges along the way, and um, I knew this team was special when I picked them, um, but having that bench, uh, being able to make substitutions is what helped us get over the hump. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, what was, what was it about those guys um, that you really enjoyed coaching? Or what, what did you see? before the season even started that you guys can do something like the skill set that you saw from these guys? Um, yeah, they were um, <clears throat> they were very competitive during tryouts. Um, these guys obviously right here, there's a few missing, um, but they stuck out to me. Um, they showed the will to win. And um, yeah, I knew, I knew right away we were gonna have a, a good season. Mm -hmm. um, and then as the season unfolded, we 4-0, and 5-0. and um, Right away, we started talking about the undefeated season. Like, yeah. I didn't hold back. People in the program kind of saw how special they were. And, um, yeah, I just started making those incentives, like you said. Yeah, at, what, at what point or at which game was um, things kind of like coming together and they started because each game you get better in it. Each yeah, game so is a challenge. Which, which game you think is the one that really <coughs> had them – really um, focused, it, locked in? It was around game six. We played Somerville, and uh, we actually was playing really sloppy. And um, we had already started talking about the undefeated season. Um, but I remember during the timeout uh, talking to them and saying, you know, this isn't, this win or loss today is not about um, the undefeated season. Mm -hmm. It's, I would, I would be upset if we come out with a loss because they're not better than us. And um, I remember they responded. And after that, we actually w ended up winning by one at the buzzer mm -hmm. on a layup. And after that, I knew in my heart that we were going to still have challenges, but I, I had a feeling we were going to go all the way uh, all right. and do it. Yeah, fellas, for y'all, um, any one of y'all can answer this. What, what was it like just being undefeated on the freshman team and just, um, you know, some of you guys were, went up, got moved up to JV and played both ways, but you played two ways, I should say. Um, what, what was just that like as, as you guys kept getting better and, and better as the games went on? Um, 
Holy no, for real. It's like, as the games kept going, um, you know what I'm saying? It was really just, you feel me? It was all coming together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, yeah. Well, what would you say was the strength? The strength? The, the strength of the team that w that helped you guys just uh, get that winning streak. What do, you, what do you mean by strength? The strength of the team, the strength of the team. Beat, beat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got that one. <laughs> the strength of the team, we all like stick by each other, you know? Yes. We, we was like losing, but we all kept our heads up. No one ever like pouted. <clears throat> but at the end, win and win a chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, <laughs> for, for you guys, I know he said the Somerville game, but what other games for you guys did you think um, you, you guys really kind of show like the fight? And, uh, kind of perseverance that you need. Yeah, Swamp Scott. Swamp Scott. Yeah, tell, tell, tell me about that game. I wasn't there, so I need y'all to Swamp Scott, tell me um, about that game. That game, we was like blowing them out, and then like they kept like they. No, was, actually, you weren't there the very first game versus Swamp Scott. Was that the one you guys are alluding to? Yeah, yeah. the first one. Yeah, oh, so the first game. The first game. Um, if you guys want to answer? Eli, Eli was there. You want to answer? Yeah, Eli. So what about the game? So he said, <clears throat> outside of Somerville, uh, what other game was challenging that helped us like overcome and persevere? And some of you guys said Swamps could. That game was special for you. I remember he hit a big three. Um, okay, Mr. Clutch. Down the stretch. Mr. And Clutch. Put us over the hump. All right. I mean, yeah, Swamps was a really good team. They were hard to beat. Like, we were score, they were score, just going back and forth. Yeah. And. I don't really know. Is it was it one of those games? It was just back and forth game the entire way. Um, kind yeah, of to the end. Yeah, yeah. So um, late game execution and back and forth games is kind of, is very key. Um, playing smart is very key too. Um, how are you guys able to execute the execute the game plan down the stretch without you know sometimes sometimes people overthink when they just keep it, keep it simple. But how are you guys just able to keep y'all composure and uh, execute the game plan in a, in those close in that close game? Team effort. Team effort, yeah. Let's not get nervous. Um, even though it was it was close, like I don't know, we just didn't think about it, just played our game. Yeah, yeah. so basically y'all just play, y'all just played. Y'all didn't y'all didn't think too much and just played. Okay. Um which player I mean actually no, different question. Um were there any nerves from you guys this first game on freshman and to, and then at which point did like the nerves go away? Because you know, when you get to high school, you kind of get nervous. But now they which game? Mike. Oh. Mike. Probably Swamp Scott. They were big and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Should you shouldn't be scared of no height. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Chelsea game. Another one. That that last game. That was that was a close game until like the fourth quarter. Well, you guys were up, they came back. You guys went up again, they came back. Fourth quarter, then you guys started really hitting the shots. Uh, was, did you guys just had a good feeling offensively? Because I think I don't know how many threes you guys hit that game, but it was a lot, and everybody was uh, everybody was on their game that one. You forgot Chelsea. Chelsea <laughs> was the last game. The last one. Pat <laughs> You know that game. You know it was like. When they started hitting those threes, that's when we all needed to lock lock in mm -hmm. and stuff. And then when like when we all decided to lock in, we all got the momentum. He started subbing the bench and they started doing their thing. The starters, everyone started doing their thing. And that's when we knew it was gonna blow them out. Yeah. Was that one of the be more better all around games to, to close out the season? That one? Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> I mean, for me, it was the icing on the cake. Um, but to reiterate to some of your questions, the Swampsky game, some of the, even the very last game, um, reason why we were able to pull these things off, um, and I don't mean to like take credit for, for you know, all of it. Um, I take the credit, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it starts with me, right? So right. I, throughout those uh, hard times, I kept my composure as a coach. Right. Um, I even remember um, that very last game versus Chelsea, we were down at halftime and we go downstairs and um, 
you know, we're distraught, like, what is happening? We might lose, you know what I mean? And all I kept saying is, right throughout those times, all I kept telling them over and over again is, guys, we're all right. You know what I mean? Even even when we were down at times, like, we're all right. You know what I mean? And we always uh, put our faith in God prior. We always prayed before each game. So, um, again, I feel like the Lord had already given me the provision of us going all the way. Right. But even with that, you still have to go through through the trials, right? So as we're going through the trials, um, your faith is being tested. So um, even though when we face those challenging times, I just knew it starts with me and my demeanor. And right, right, if, right. I'm, if I'm all over the place and I'm out of control, then they're going to read that, right? Even my, my point guard, like, I could tell he wanted it so bad, um, that very last game, for us to go undefeated. And because of that, we were pressing, mm. like, you know, putting pressure on ourselves. And at halftime, I had to bring him in also and say, like, you know, we're, we're good. Trust your teammates. Don't over um, elaborate the, the, the negatives, right? Don't keep your team together because yeah. he's, he's an extension of me, right? So usually the point guard is an extension of, of the coach. So he started to calm down. Right, it starts with me. He started to calm down. We go like Farhan said. We go back to our basics, right? So I put the original starters um, that had usually started throughout the year. Yeah. I switched it up here and there, but I went back to what I knew is what what was our bread and butter, and <clears throat> we started to press, which is again another one of our uh, fortes and. We just opened it up, right? Yeah. They stayed together, like they said. Um, we stayed the course. Mm -hmm. We stayed um, even keel, and and then we just pulled away and and blew them out. Uh, and some of you guys, I know, some of you guys are were on JV as well. And then next year, I know you're hoping to be on varsity. But for each player, what is something you have to do this off season to to work on your game? Well, what aspect of your game do you have to work on this off season so you know you could get that chance either? be on JV, try to be on varsity or JV or, you know, play both ways for next year? Um, it's really it's really stamina, you know, speed, you know, all the freshman, JV, varsity, all different speeds. Mm -hmm. The pace is very different, so, you know, so you need to work on that yeah. and strength too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he said, but I also got to work on my finishing, driving. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> You get to the cup, but sometimes, uh, sometimes you be leaving it short. Oh man, come on, man! Can't leave points like that. that goes with stamina, right? Yeah, hey, gotta run them hills. Mm -hmm. Go up, uh, go up, uh, Manning Field. A couple more swing plays. Yeah. What you need to do to improve? Um, the big, biggest thing for me was like stamina, hitting shots. And obviously, the biggest difference between like the freshman and JV varsity level is like just physical attributes, strength, yeah. stamina, stuff like that. All right, all right, cool, cool. Well, I mean, I'm looking forward to see y'all next year, see where y'all play next year, especially you. Everybody's telling me about you, so they said they say you next. So y'all gotta put the gotta quick put as the lightning in. right there. Yeah, y'all gotta put the work in. You playing football too? Nah. Why not? No. You playing football? Nah. Baseball? Nah. Only basketball? Yeah. Any of you guys play two sports? Some of them aren't here. Oh, he does. Oh, he he does. plays baseball. He right plays baseball? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't some of y'all play football? I don't know. Too rough. What do you mean too rough? It's not, it's not really for me. I feel like I got injured out there. Yeah, like yeah. the size. Like, Brain injury. It's not even the size, bro. It's the injury. And the weight. Like, oh. 300 pound line. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are 15, 16. Y'all, y'all will be, y'all will be all right. Y'all will be all right. I'll say this real quick off of that topic, and I hope you guys take this um, out of my own experience. I stayed away from football, just like them, right? From because basketball is my main sport, and I didn't yeah. want to get hurt. But now, fast forward, I do regret not going out there and trying it, and and being out there as a receiver. And if if you're quick and, and you're agile, you're able to avoid those hits. Yeah. Um, so, as you guys go along, try not to have regrets in your career, right? So, if if we're at any point you think like maybe you can add to uh, the football team or whatever it is, just do it. Cause then when it's over, you're gonna look back and be like, man, I wish I would've did it. Yeah. Just try out. 
<laughs> just try. Right. Worst thing, you might not like it. You're like, all right, I don't like it. Try. But you might end up loving it. And also, you guys said you need to wait. Yeah. Facts, facts, I'm facts. Go talk to Coach Vaughn. My, yeah, yeah. my, my guy. Appreciate Fellas, you having us. Appreciate man. it. I'm looking forward to seeing some of y'all JV varsity next year. You too. You too. <laughs> y'all, y'all the future backcourt, so y'all better get in that lab early. All right. Uh, yeah, Pedro got to go, so we got to get out of here ourselves. All right, you'll be watching Athletes Corner. Thank you to Freshman Team yes, for coming sir. by. We are out of here. <laughs>